This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with my World Chalice list that I just put up on the channel. I'm going to play a match, hopefully, on the Gideon server. Uh, not really sure how that's going to work out, but I'm going to try it. We're going to see how it works, because hopefully it means that I'll be able to just, you know, show you some side decking patterns, some things like that, and ultimately uh, we can go from there, get a little bit of extra knowledge out of it. But this is the list that I put up yesterday, uh, complete with a side deck. This is a pretty generic side deck, but it's basically what I try to keep with at this deck, essentially. Uh, like putting extra hand traps in when going second, putting in evenly matched when going second, taking out uh, cards that are like not really that optimal when going uh, second, like a Kyoto Waterfronts, and to a lesser extent the Unexpected Dies, uh, and stuff like that which also allows me to shave out like one of the vanillas. Uh, there's a few different like siding patterns I do with this deck, but you'll see a couple of those uh, in this video, hopefully. But anyway, so yeah, this is the list. This is the list that I put up on my channel yesterday in the deck profile. If you want in-depth uh, like uh, information as to why certain cards are in the list and stuff like that, then definitely go check that out if you're interested. But other than that, let's not just waste any time and let's jump straight into the match that I'm gonna try and get for this video. Alright, so I'm playing on the Gideon server, the Gideon beta server, which I think links up with Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, not sure. Uh, and I don't know how much longer it's going to be around either. Uh, it's one of those things that, uh, if what I understand is correct, is going through some uh, hard times. Okay, my opponent won Rock, Paper, Scissors and told me to go first. Very interesting. Um, Alright, so, I've got Brilliant Fusion plus Lee, that's a pretty good play. I've also got the, uh, the World Legacy World Chalice in my hand already, which means that I can do stuff with that. Um, I kind of want to normal summon this and make like Link Spider and then do Brilliant Fusion to add this back. Uh, but at the same time, that's not really too optimal uh, as far as a play structure goes. So I will just Brilliant Fusion straight up. If I had multiple vanillas, then it would be something that you know you'd do. You would go straight away into that. Well, that Max D is getting Ash Blossomed. 100% uh, not dealing with that. <laughs> not today. Uh, but so I'll send Venus and I'll send Lazuli. Uh, to summon the Seraph Knight over here. I'll gain my additional normal summon off of uh, Seraph Knight for my Lee, which I will then trigger. And uh, I'll, I'll search for uh, for Guard Dragon just for a little bit of added protection. I've already pretty much got all the pieces in my hand that I need, uh, essentially. Uh, the only thing that I'm worried about here is Ash, Blossom, and Ogre. This play is kind of weak to those. Uh, but at the same time, better have it Duelist. You had to have it plus Maxi. Um, okay, so there's no Ogre. That's good. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to get another Lee out of my deck. So I'm getting Chosen, and I'm getting Lee. Uh, so I'll put Chosen here, and I will put Lee over here. And then I can use Orum here to bring back my Venus. Uh, so this is the entire purpose of, like, Brilliant Fusion being really powerful in this deck, is the fact that, like, it just tutors whichever card you are missing. Either Lee or, um, or the Venus. So... Going from here, it should be pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, no idea what I'm playing against, other than my opponent has a max C, but I should be able to just go through the motions of, uh, of doing my turn structure. Uh, but so that is in my grave. Good, good. Uh, these can become an Eeb. Uh, my opponent didn't really seem like he had Ash. If he did, he should have definitely Ash blossomed the World Legacy World Chalice. I'm not sure because it still gives him a little window. But either that's the game picking up like uh, and syncing up with his client, or he does have something. Uh, not entirely sure. But okay, I can either keep this Venus on the on the field and hope that I draw into like Exodius, or I can just go for the two draws. And so I will go for the two draws that I am granted. Uh, but so this requires Proxy Dragon with these two right here, and then an Imduk with this, so that I can special the Guard Dragon out of my hand. Uh, and then we should be good to go. Then Guard Dragon can extend the combos further. And uh, Bish Bash Bosh. Everything is good to go. But so this happens as Chain Link 1. Then Imduk is Chain Link 2. Summoning Guard Dragon out of my hand over here. So that I draw three cards. Uh, I draw into my two main deck evenly matches. Very interesting. Uh, that sucks. That's actually just the worst. <laughs> That's actually just the worst thing I could have drawn into. Uh, but, so what I've got access into is that I can make these into Firewall Dragon, bring back a card, um, and do some stuff. I've got two Lees here. I really wish I'd drawn, like, any other monster. 
Because then, even if it was something like another Venus, I could have gotten rid of it for Lee in my graveyard. This is irritating. Um, alright. Well, no, no point in crying about it. Uh, we'll just link the Ningirsu and the Guard Dragon into Firewall. And then the Ningirsu will special summon this Lee out of my hand. I'll special summon it here. Uh, I can then go into Trigate Wizard here. And that will special this out of my hand. Then Guard Dragon can bring a thing back and I can make a, make a guy. I'll have to waste my Firewall Dragon um, in order to... Uh, add a vanilla back to triple link the, the Trigate, so that's probably not something that I really want to go for. I could make... Hmm. What are my options here? I literally just need one extra monster. If I had any one monster, this play is amazing. Um, I don't want to burn the Firewall Dragon, but I mean, I could burn it to get back Ash? It's just... Uh, it's not optimal. And yeah, it makes me upset. It makes me upset indeed. But oh well. So what we'll do is we will go into... I can go into Guy Saber over the Firewall. I guess I can just make this a Firewall strat. Um, and then I can recover with uh, with Evenly Matched if my board gets broken. I guess that's how we can go this. We could do this route. Um, it's not optimal, but it might be the only way that we have to go about business. So I'll get rid of these for a Guy Saber over this Firewall. Uh, this will trigger uh, summoning this which I can summon, uh, and then I have the ability to, uh, I can search with this next turn, I can search with Lee, so I'm not too worried about that. I've got this, uh, which I can use to bring back, and I can just have a triple-winged Firewall Dragon, um, and that's pretty much all that I have access to, uh, which is unfortunate, but sometimes that's all you need to win the game, strangely enough. Uh, sometimes that's all you ever actually need, but so I'm gonna, I should have brought back the Shine Ball, because then now I'm just wasting a, a uh, Imduk out of my extra deck for no reason, uh, but it seems fine. Uh, what am I doing? No, not Firewall. Bad. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, so we'll just summon this, uh, and if I get evenly matched, then I get evenly matched. Um, I don't think this is a big issue. This protects. I can add back Ash Blossom. Uh, in response to something. I This is the best that I can do with this. Literally one monster off. If I had drawn any monster in my deck outside of these struggling battles, outside of these evenly matched, then I would have had the capability of making Trigate Wizard, having an extra monster to throw into the board, and then having a Tri-Linked uh, Trigate Wizard. Which I still could have done, but it would have burned my Firewall Dragon. Which I don't want, I would rather have Firewall Dragon loaded for three, um, instead of, uh, instead of anything else. Okay, so quick draw Synchron. Uh, what is in my opponent's graveyard? Uh, it's Jet Synchron that he discard that he milled off tuning. What a fucking master. Alright. So, I've got to deal with that. Um, if I put this back in his hand, he's just going to be able to summon it again. So, I've got to respect that. Uh, but basically, I'm going to be well off. Even if he breaks my board, I think I'll be pretty well off. Uh, because if he breaks my board, I'll just be able to evenly match him next turn. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. But these are two tuners. He has to play around this Firewall Dragon, uh, and then my Ash Blossom that's coming back. So I'm going to bounce two with Firewall, uh, and what? Oh, Link Karibo. I see. I see. Uh, so he milled for Bulb, brought this out. This is still fine. I don't care about this. Uh, into Crystron Needle Fiber. Okay, so... This specifically summons a tuner from your hand or deck in defensive. Okay, so it is not arrow specific. If it was arrow specific, I would be bouncing this. Um, but so needle fiber here, and because if it like if it was like Orum and it had to summon to one of its zones, I would just bounce it, and then there would be no zone that it opens, and that would be good. We'd be good to go. Uh, but okay, so he's got Jet Synchron and Grave, which is live. Uh, he's got a Junk Synchron in his hand that I know about. I think I'm worrying about this a little bit too much. I think I'm overthinking this. Um, if he uses this, I'll just bounce three. He's bringing back Max C. Um, so I think I'm not going to bounce the Max C. 100% not. Um, well, actually, yes, I will probably. What's the Jet Synchron's uh, thing? He's already burned his glow bulb. Um, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Um, I don't know if he plays anything that could use that, um, 
But you know what? We'll just firewall bounce three. Um, should be should be good for me um, if I do that. Uh, but so I'm going to bounce one. Uh, I'll bounce. Ah, uh, shit. How do I want to do this? Do I want to bounce his max C just so he has it? Yeah, I would rather that card be in his hand. I think I have game if I just bounce these. Um, he's already committed his normal summon. Uh, and, like, he can discard to summon Jet Synchron, but that's about it, really. Um, don't think I have to worry about that Max C because my board is already established. I already have enough damage for game on board so I could just attack. Um, the most that I would be doing next turn is, like, adding, uh, adding World Legacy's Heart and then activating and adding, like, Chosen back to my hand and normal summoning that. Um, so like I said, like sometimes Firewall Dragon just gets you there. Even though I couldn't do the Trigate Wizard play, uh, this Firewall Dragon seems to be pretty worthwhile in terms of uh, what I've done with this uh, with this board. But uh, I still have these to fall back on. I still I am so upset that I drew these two cards. They're the only two copies of it in my main deck. <laughs> it makes me so upset. It makes me actually upset. But. It's fine. This deck is very good at playing a turn two game, uh, or rather your turn three. Turn two in terms of your second turn, but turn three uh, in terms of the total turn count of the game because of your Lee and your World Legacy World Chalice. Uh, like, those those are all pretty damn good. Does he have a way to conduct an, uh, another uh, normal summon? Okay, so I know he has Max C, two Junk uh, Synchrons, and one Unknown in his hand. He just discarded a Jet Synchron for Jet Synchron. Um... So, Link Karibo gets to tribute that to bring itself back, but it doesn't go to the grave, it gets banished. <sighs> and now he... you can only use one Jet Synchron effect per turn only once that turn. Okay, so he can't use this to discard. Yeah, okay, so that Firewall Dragon just ended my opponent's turn. Oh, I drew this! Okay, so that means I get to just search for, um, search for another copy of World Legacy World Chalice. That seems fine. Uh, so he's got this, which I do have to respect. I do have to sort of get it off the field, which means I do have to play a little bit into a max C potentially. Um, or no, I don't. I just attack with my weakest monster into this. Maybe I should stop being stupid. Um, or I could just make Firewall Dragon here, just instantly. Just make Firewall. <laughs> it's like, boom, Firewall. Don't even give you the chance to react. Um, which might actually be the way. It might actually be the move. Um, or I could play this. Hear me out. I play this. Uh, adding back this and adding back Lee, um, and then I uh, I link with uh, a, a normal summon a monster, and then I link with uh, in the Trigate and banish it. That seems fine. I can link into Trigate, um, but it would be either here or here. I can't link with these. Um, I can make another Firewall Dragon and just bounce. That's pretty simple and pretty easy. So yeah, we'll just do that. Um, normal summon this. Well, I'm trying to overthink it and overcomplicate things, but in reality, don't need to. So, uh, I'll add, I guess, Guard Dragon to my hand. Um, I can add, I can link away with these into a three, and then this with special summon, and then we do all sorts of stuff, but, again, I'm overthinking things when I don't need to, so we'll just add this. Uh, and then, uh, if my opponent does not max see me here, I will act to my ability to link summon. <laughs> An odd way to put it, but all right. Firewall Dragon, uh, and then I'll just use this Firewall Dragon here. He can get the free special summon um, off Max C. Um, I'm just gonna special summon this uh, this Chosen out of my hand. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, so uh, we'll special Chosen out of my hand here. And so what this allows now is that I can now use this to bounce the Link Karibo. Where is it? There it is. We'll just bounce the Link Karibo. The only thing I would like really hate right here would be a, uh, a Ghost Ogre, which looks like he might actually have. Uh, if it's a Veiler, the Guard Dragon stops that. Okay, good. <laughs> Very good. I was like, whoa. Don't Ogre my Firewall Dragon, please. <laughs> Not like this. Um, but so now I just go into battle phase and I attack this and attack, 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 and this is all this is all fair and good. This is uh, 5,000. These two are 36. That's 86 plus 16. Um, but so it's 86 plus 100 because this can just attack over this. That's the formula um, for success. And so that's 8,700 damage. So why is my opponent taking so long? I'm playing as someone with Japanese characters in their name. 
that makes me a little tilted because sometimes these people are the ones that are like, I'm going to play the amazing broken deck. And actually he was, he was playing quick draw. Um, <laughs> actually, not even, not even going to pretend like I registered that beforehand. Are you going to just time me out? All right. Thank God. It just took him forever to let me go into battle phase. It was so like disrespectful. <laughs> oh God, he's doing it again. What are you doing? You're just trying to make me mad, aren't you? This is so ridiculous. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Attack from lowest to highest, because we play around Gores, because there's one unknown card in his hand um, that that Max C drew him into. So we're gonna we're gonna act like uh, we're gonna act like there's a Gores there, even though there's literally nothing we can do about it. If there was a Gores there, it would be literally awful. Um, because then next turn he's able to do his entire thing with Junk Synchron and all that again, and I don't know if I'd be able to deal with that. Um, without a loaded uh, form of uh, protection because I'm still under max C this turn so like don't want to do anything to like rock the boat on that one but all right so we're gonna go into some side decking or I guess not the connection got terminated so my opponent did not want to have any more of what I was dishing out to him so instead of losing this recording or trying to dilute it with other gameplay I'm just going to keep it self-contained as is because it is kind of long enough to be a self-contained little video uh, and the points that I discussed were something that was at least, you know, worthwhile keeping, at least in my opinion, uh, in terms of, like, the plays that I went down and all that sort of stuff. So, I guess that is okay, all fine and good. So, I will do another video. It'll probably go live in the same day. Uh, I'll try to get an actual match, because that was the intent uh, with this deck, to show off some of my side decking patterns and stuff like that, depending on matchups. Uh, but, unfortunately, my opponent just terminated out of the program. <laughs> he just didn't want any more of it. Uh, so, I mean, that's unfortunate, but you can't really control those types of people anyway. So, that's going to be it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, links as always are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you really like the videos I've been doing and want to support my ability to continue making those types of videos, then definitely check out my Patreon and consider contributing to that. Even something as a little dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support if that's what you'd like to do, and you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's a route you'd like to go down. So things to consider. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do, as I've already said. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video, which should be out later today. So now the video is over, as usual, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, way more than I could ever express. You have my eternal gratitude, and you guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.